ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. And as you can see, I'm reviewing Die Hard. This is going to be Die Hard number four, and it is Live Free or Die Hard. Bruce Willis is in this one, of course, because he's John McClane. And an actor whose name I will butcher is Timothy Oliphant. He's been in movies like Go, the Hitman series. He was in a, a TV series called Justify. He is a very good actor, very underrated. He's had a great range. So, this movie is, you know, the typical action diehard thing. Well, it has a little twist. This time, the police actually send John to pick up a suspect. How John is not in trouble with his own department is beyond me. But they do, and... You forgot that the, the person they sent him to pick up is a computer hacker. And it starts off. Well, you find out that Timothy's Oliphant's group, and I cannot remember the character's name, I'm sorry, is trying to crash the American grid. Take out everything. Because when he was working for the government, he hacked in their system. He showed them how weak our defenses were. And they basically fired the guy. So he's out for revenge. Well, okay, revenge is one thing, but you're harming millions of people, first of all. Second of all, I don't even know. Because, honestly, they probably wouldn't have listened to him anyway. And I do not know what is what is that. My dog's laying on my blankie. Because I can't find my regular one. So, um... It was a good good movie like honestly it was good me and the hubby were watching it we had no complaints we were like oh my god that's like one of the i think the best ones we've seen i put that right up there with number one we didn't really care for number three too much i mean it was good but like if we had to watch all the diehards again as from here it'd be i would say one because of nostalgia four because it had a more modern twist then two and then three. But again, you know how sometimes you're chased, changed to the day? Like, yo, I need all the diehards. Like, I need one or two. Three or four can kick rocks. But um, that is it for my review. I don't want to give too, too much away. It is a very good movie. It's got good twists. It's got actors that you will know. And oh my gosh, the, the, the hacker, I just know where I saw him from. He was, if it's the same person... He was the brother in Jeepers Creepers. I did not realize that. Okay. So I had seen him in something else. But I like how you get the action in um, everything in here. I like how it's giving it a more modern feel. Like, hey, this is the way the world's going. You need to have your computer systems, you know, short up tight. Because one false move... One bad hacker, and you can collapse a whole nation. Which is true. Which is probably why they fired the guy. But if they were smart, they would have been like, all right, fix it. You did it. Fix it. And as it is, he um, designed the program that he was crashing. He just, this is a spoiler, he just needed to like, manually enter something. But, oh, also, you get to meet John McClane's daughter in this, Lucy. And she's like, she changed her name to Gennaro. Lucy Gennaro. I'm like, yo, you and your mom got issues. Like, I mean, I get it, because sometimes your men be making you crazy. But, like, being disrespectful, like, that's one thing I will say. All children are disrespectful to their parents. Let's not lie and say that they are. But it's taking that disrespect to a level that, like, sometimes I'm not comfortable with. Like, you don't call your parents by their first name unless it's agreed upon. And if they ain't agreed upon, it's mother or father. Like, but I was raised a very old school way. And before anybody says anything, me and my mom ended up being best friends. Yes, we clashed because that's human nature. But anyway, but I like how they used her, his daughter in this movie. Like, she got kidnapped, spoiler. And the, the guy was like, Jesus, you really are his daughter. And she was like, mm-hmm. And I was like, go ahead, Lucy. You let him know you got a little bit of a claim in you. But
But that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I am done babbling. Um, hit that like button, subscribe if you like. Comment below if you've seen this movie. If you have any other movies recommended for me to watch. Um, because I only have one more Die Hard to do. And then I am probably going to review the Equalizer movies. Because I have two out of the three and the third one's on Netflix or whatever. So, I hope everyone has a good morning, afternoon, evening, and I will talk to you later. Bye!